morning everybody. As you can see, we are in front of the Center of Oncology in Watcher for an investigation and exposition. We'll be inside the building soon and then introduce you our colleague Adama, who has some historical information about the center. As Mr. Baba mentioned before, we are here to investigate the center and uh, learn about cancer in Mauritania. We'll let you know more about the center's equipment and team, including the doctors and their tools and materials for treatments. We'll also meet some of the patients inside. But before that, let me tell you a little bit about the historical informations of the center. So today, unlike uh, before, Mauritania has got its own oncology center where patients could be treated and uh, won't be forced to leave the country for a broad treatment. But to let you learn more, we'll be inside now joining our interview with one of the doctors. Good morning. Good morning, Isawa. You are a general practitioner here at the National Center of Oncology in Blackshot since last year. So my first question is, when did the center begin its activities and what are its priorities? Well, I was here since last year. The center began its activities in January 2009. And now we are planning to open a new radiation unit, which will be operational in 10 months this time. In addition to that, the center has two major priorities. Number one, we need to make sure that our equipment meets the international standards. Secondly, we need a supply consistent of drugs. Great. I have a few more questions, Doctor. How many staff do you have in the center? Well, the center consists of 11 qualified doctors, 8 general practitioners, 12 nurses and 2 doctors in training in Morocco in the field of radiotherapy, which is one of the most common ways to treat cancer. How many beds do you have and are they enough? Actually, 20 beds are available, but they are not really sufficient. We will, the number will be increased in 40 beds soon. To treat cancer, you need some high performance materials. Do you have them? Oh, yeah, you're right. The center is strongly equipped with modern and advanced equipment. So, my last question, doctor, is what are the benefits of this center for Mauritanians? Um, this center was a decent dream for all Mauritanians, for all citizens of our country, especially for poor and uh, vulnerable communities who suffer from cancer. Now the center will answer them the care they need and uh, prevent them either traveling abroad, abroad or being forced to suffer other in Mauritania. Thanks, uh, Dr. Sal, for this interview. We wish you all the best in your profession and also hope that the center will become one of the biggest in Africa in the future. Thank you again and have a nice day. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will move with our to meet one of Dr. Sam's patients. Good morning, Adama. Good morning, Doctor. How do you feel today? Okay, I feel better. Okay, let's see. Uh, you're taking my temperature. No. What today we have a journalist from the TTC News Broadcast who want to ask you some questions. Uh huh. Okay, news welcome. I will leave you now. I'm going to see my other patient. Have a nice day. Okay, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I have some questions. Okay, you are the one that my doctor told me about. Yes. Yeah. Okay, welcome. What's your name, please? Okay, my name is Adam. Adam. So, Adam, when did your doctor discover that you have cancer? Okay, actually, it was uh, last year that my doctor discovered that I have cancer. What kind of cancer do you have? Okay, it's a, a belly cancer or stomach cancer. 
What state was the pencil at that time? Okay, actually it was a uh, oh, it was uh, just at the beginning stage. Thank you. What was your reaction when you learned that you had cancer? Oh, it was really disappointing, and I felt I felt really distracted. Huh? And um, I was really hope, hopeless because I felt that it was just a few days that are remaining of my life. You see. Today, are you hopeful to live longer? Okay, of course I am. So, I am hopeful to live longer. So, my last question, Adama, is uh, what do you think about uh, this new center in Marshalls? Okay, the center is um, something to not, to not be denied that it is really to be acknowledged that it is good for all Mauritanians. It's really a, a very excellent deed that I, I recognize I have to acknowledge and every other single citizen from Mauritania has to because it's beneficial for, for all of the Mauritanians. Thank you, Adama, for accepting our interview. We wish you a swift recovery. Thank you, Adam. Ladies and gentlemen, that was TTC News Report. Thank you for joining us. See you next time for more local news. Stay tuned for the health reports.